Do you have kids? You want some? Is like a stand-up comedian, but with a grumpy grandpa. What's up? <laughs> we are Kyle and Emily, yeah. and this is Gizmo Story for Geobeats. I'm Gizmo. Who are you? He came from a couple that tried to rescue too many birds. Ooh, let the birds out. <laughs> they had no time. Yeah. So they concentrated on the birds that they, they had bonded with, and Gizmo wasn't one of those. He was in a room on his own, and the only form of attention he got is when he spoke. Ooh. He can't fly. Damn it. His muscles are not very strong due to him being in his cage for so long. Birds don't walk. Something about Gizmo just made us want him. I see you. Yeah, I know what's in your heart. He spoke to my heart. I was the chosen one. I loved you. I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After a month, he really started testing out everything with me. I let him make every single first move. I can't wait to start, yeah. I never pushed him with anything. All right. After three months, we were fully bonded. Be serious. Set he free roams. He can choose where he wants to go. What you gotta do? Babber, babber. It was really interesting to see him be able to speak to us like a person would. What you doing? What you do? Like a couple of We started realizing, wow, he was actually participating in conversation, like, in full contextual ways. I see you. Hi. Hi, baby. His number one favorite word, because he is highly food motivated, is want some. You want some? He will say that over and over, on repeat, especially when we're eating dinner. <laughs> Dogs beg, he's the same, but he literally speaks. Want some? <laughs> oh, it's not. He will say, ask for a statue, and he doesn't want a statue, he wants what we're eating. You want a statue? Statue? Each week, he'll have a whole vocabulary of his favorite words, and then it will change the next week. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Hey, bud, are you doing? He's only said that three times since we've had him, and it's not been just repeating it. He's meant what he said. <laughs> he associates words appropriately to the emotion. God damn it. <laughs> So when he's saying the bad word, he's saying it when he's mad or annoyed or upset in a way. And same with love and happy and funny. Those words all contribute to the emotion, which is like really smart on how he's able to use those. Okay. When we're going here, say goodbye, see you later. Goodbye, see you later. He says goodbye to the kids when they go to school. He knows. I don't know how. Goodbye. See you later. My bond with him is the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced in my life, apart from my children. I love you. I love you. Oh. I unexpectedly lost my mum, and there's times where I'm upset, and he knows, and he feels it. On her birthday, we sung happy birthday for her, and I was crying, and my kids are around me, and he did everything in his power just to make me laugh. He rescued me as much as I rescued him. You're cute. We both healed each other's hearts. Hey, hi. Hi. Woo! You okay? What's the matter? <laughs> He's brought so much joy and love. You've been funny. Sorry, no. He completed our family. Bye, man.